Hi, my name is Hazim and this is my 3D guitar strap. This is Sinister Gates. He's the guitarist for the band Avenged Sevenfold, one of the best modern guitarists in my opinion and he is also known for having this signature guitar. But for me, I'm more interested with this. So this is the strap that he's been using for a while. After doing some research, apparently the strap is made by Rebel Straps and it is also a bottle opener. But I also found this which says Since the city of evil days, Sin has been photographed live quite a few times spotting this really cool skull guitar strap by Rebel Strap Company. The thing that makes this strap so cool is that it is double as a bottle opener by hooking it on the tip of the skull, believed to be out of production. And maybe that's why he's no longer seen wearing it since the stage album tour. But I really want this strap and so I do have a 3D printer, so let's just make it ourselves. First, we need a 3D file of a skull. So I'm here on Thingiverse, there are plenty of skull designs that you can use. But for me, the file I'm looking for is one that is simple but cool looking and easy to print as in not too detailed and complex. So this is the one that I found on Cups 3D. It is only the top half of the skull but I don't mind. It looks badass and it even got a scar. So let's download this one. Next, we are going to slice the file. To put it on the strap, we need the pad to be flat. So there are two ways you can do this. First is just to rotate the file facing up and just push down the file into the bag like this then just click slice and it will only slice the part showing making it flat at the back second way is you can split the file first using the split tool this way you can actually save it as a new file so you can reuse it again later both ways works just fine The print comes out looking pretty great but the color is too black for me because when you put it on the strap it's kind of hard to see so I'm going to paint it. For this I will be using the same technique people use for weathering their prints which is to paint the whole thing first and then wipe it out with a paper towel. This way there will be some paints left on the layer lines so it will give this cool black silver looks. Here it is compared to the original and now it looks better on the strap. Next is to put it on the strap. For this I am using a simple instant glue. So I'm really happy with how this turns out to be. So it's not quite similar with uh, the one Sin is using. But yeah, it still looks cool. And I do have this extra strap. So why stop here? This is a Mythosaur skull from Sawas. Since this is a symbol of the Mandalorian, for this one I'm just going to spray it with a sparkling silver to give it the best car look.
this is a poly skull design and found for this one i'm using the same paint and wipe technique but with a mix of red and black paint Honestly, I have no idea what color I'm trying to achieve here. I was just experimenting, but it's not too bad. This is a fox. This one I thought it looks cute and pretty so I printed it in orange and just leave it like that. And the last one here is the symbol of the band Bring Me The Horizon. I painted this one in white, just plain and simple. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you learned something and if you want to make your own, you can use the same technique, you can basically use any 3D file if you want. I started with wanting to make a simple skull strap but end up with the meter saw skull being my favorite. Thank you for watching, please consider subscribing and leave a like, thank you very much.